12 years of sounding board, and tonight we're going to look at He-Man from the Master Universe uh, 40th anniversary line for Masterverse. Yes, this is like the nth number of He-Man figures in this line. And this one's based off the original He-Man that came out 40 years ago. The one that had, was squatting. People would make jokes that he has very small nuts because he's so big. The kind of the kind of He-Man that became the gay icon. But now he has an action figure. So they made him and they made Skeletor. But Skeletor's in lesser quantities than He-Man. That's why He-Man's on clearance. They sent him by the cases to Target. And so, let's open them up and take a look. I cut the tape on top to make it easier. But I forgot to cut the tape, the, the little things inside, to get them out of the package. So this should be interesting. Interestingly hard, the way they put it in. There's the back of the box so you can see the art while I'm kind of cleaning up my mess now. And here is He-Man in all his 40th anniversary glory. He actually moves better than the Revelations one. He has a classic Conan look. He has a dull joint here. Which is surprising because the wrestlers don't have this joint. Joint in the knee, ankle, hip, and this. Thigh, I mean thigh and hip. Waist and midsection. He has an extra fist hand and an extra open hand. Or bitch, he has a, a bitch, slap, bitch slapping hand, we'll call it. Because you can never tell when Skeletor needs a good slap in the face. He has his power sword, which is one sided like the cartoon, not uh, single sided like the action figure. And he's got his classic battle axe, which when he was a barbarian was very important. And he's got a shield. His classic shield, iconic shield. 
which they should have made this last so it can pop up an open so you can it's easier to put his shield his shield on so I'm having a real hard time getting the shield on unless His bitch slap hand is supposed to be there. Yep, it's supposed to be the bitch slap hand. Well, basically, you can just use the battle cat that was established from the first uh, year line. Here's what he looks like from the front, the side, the back, the side, he falls, and the front again. And there's what he looks like without with that thing open. He actually has his classic iconic He-Man symbol. They didn't change this on like uh, 2000X. He has his red here. He's classic gray. I don't know if it meshes to the same color gray as the original He-Man, but he's got that. His axe has the same, looks like same decorations, but they gave it chips and battle damage. Like I said, he's got the classic Conan look. And a sweeping long 90s, 80s hair, which is a carryover from the 70s surfer. And at this point, the harness w was a, sh a power shield. And supposedly they were playing that instead of, and the harness was removable because He-Man was going to have interchangeable harnesses to um, to give him special abilities. He's tan complected. So you can have him hold two weapons if you wanted. And then fall down. Or you could just take this fist off and give him just a fist. So he can do his filmation punch. It's interesting that they gave him orange. I don't think He-Man had orange uh, colored uh, armbands. I think they were flesh tone. They just kind of molded onto him. I haven't checked out my original He-Man in a while, so it's kind of hard to tell. Oh, and he also rotates at the thigh. And the ankles move. I think he's bigger than the mainstream He-Man. I think he has a bigger chest too.
Yeah, he does. Because this He-Man's more leaner mass. Let's move him down here so it doesn't cut their heads off. This one's more leaner mass. This one's got a bulkier chest, a massive chest. He's got the same legs, the same arms, but they changed the uh, armor, arm, arm thing to protect on one arm. And they alter his his harness. So he's got a new harness for this one. For new attorney as He-Man. But he has a whole new chest. This one has a very ripped chest, real, real defined, which is also the same as the Revelations. And it's the same for a lot of other He-Man figures. They all share this look. This He-Man here has a classic bulkier chest. It's rounded. But he doesn't have the butt cheeks like the Filmation version. Remember, he had the fur that went and gave you his butt cheeks. And his harness has a place to put the sword. Because remember when you were a kid, his sword had no place to put, so you shoved it into the harness itself. If you didn't lose the sword first in the backyard somewhere. Oh, dog, I was almost done. Penny, Penny, hush. Another dog started her up. Penny! So, we'll stop there because Penny pretty much ruined this clip. So until next time, this is the Sounding Board, signing off.